Vietnamese billionaire property tycoon Truong Mai Lan was sentenced to death on Thursday. At the end of the hearing of the country's biggest ever case of financial fraud, the Ho Chi Minh City People's Court handed down the sentence to the 68-year-old. Lan was found guilty of her role in siphoning 12.5 billion US dollars off from Saigon Joint Stock Commercial Bank, which is the largest bank in Vietnam. Her trial, which began on March 5th, was seen as a result of a campaign by the country's ruling Communist Party to stamp out corruption. Lan's husband and niece were also convicted for their roles in the fraud and sentenced to a jail term of 9 years and 17 years respectively. A senior executive of the State Bank of Vietnam was also given life imprisonment for accepting bribes to conceal the Saigon Bank's poor financial standing. Several other executives of the Saigon Bank also face jail time. The court also ordered Lan to pay compensation of more than 27 billion US dollars to the Saigon Bank. She started as a cosmetics trader at the Central Market in Ho Chi Minh City. She founded her real estate company in 1992 before venturing into the banking sector. She controlled three banks that went into a merger to form the Saigon Bank in 2012.